So let's try to scrape some stuff instead of just navigating, which is what we've been doing on this so far. Let's try to use this to scrape some things out of here. So we have this page with this product. What if we wanted to go to the page and grab the title of that page and grab the price and maybe like in stock available. And then we need to do that for the second page, the third page, the fourth page and so on. So we basically first need URLs for these pages and you could have it in a spreadsheet, for example. For now, let's just actually do this. Let's just go to this page and try to grab all the URLs for books apparently. So let's create a separate file and I'm just gonna copy paste this. So let's try to use this to go to that page and try to get the links on that page. So I'm gonna copy this, go back to my code and paste that as the go to URL. And we don't need to type anything anymore and we're not really clicking on anything nor we're taking a screenshot. So we're not doing any of that. We need to basically grab all of this links that are on the page. Let's go see how we're gonna do that. So let's go to that page and look at their methods. So selector, what do those selectors do? Oh, so this is like selecting all of those elements of that type. So what does it actually return? Returns a promise array of element handle. What does that mean? Element handle, in page DOM element. So basically it's just one element. And then we can take that element and do something like click or something. Okay, so that's good. Now we don't wanna click though. We want to get the text. So what is this? Okay, that's interesting. Does it also do this on the page? Can we also do that on the page? Let's check this out. So this is the eval again. Yes, this is interesting. So we should be able to use this. So I'm gonna copy this, go back. Let's just comment this out. We may need that await at some point, but let's just paste this. Basically we have this page with two dollar signs apparently that finds all of the elements of the type and one dollar sign it finds the first element from what I can tell from their docs. So we should be able to use the selector to find all the products. In our case, that would be one of these. So if I right click and inspect, so I'm trying to find the links for all of these. So this would be the link for that. And that doesn't have a class but we should see something like a pattern here. See, there's this li, 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 li. These are all list items in here that are all these products. And inside of each list item, see we have this class, product, whatever, this. So we should be able to use that inside of that article. Now we should be able to navigate to this image container and to this hyperlink. And then that should allow us to get this hyperlink reference, I think. Let's get this. So article, then inside of it, we have this image container class, and then we have the A tag inside of that. So I'm gonna take all of those and go to my code. We'll just do dot this because it's a class, so it's with a dot. And there is a second class, so that would be apparently that image container. And inside of that, there is that hyperlink. So that should return the hyperlink. So they called it like options here. We're gonna call it A. That will be fine. So this will be our each hyperlink. And for each hyperlink, we're gonna use a map method. So these are actually all hyperlinks. So let's just call it all A's. So these are gonna be all of the hyperlinks. Now for each hyperlink here, we can run a method. 
So that's A will be each hyperlink now in this case. And for each hyperlink, we'll take, well, the text content would be the text inside of the hyperlink. But in our case, we don't want the text inside of this hyperlink, which is actually, there's no text, it's an image. We just want this href attribute. So we should be able to do that by changing this to href. So if I'm understanding their documentation right, this options should now have all those links. So let's just call this links instead of options. And let's try to console log that and see what happens. So I'm going to do console.log links. Save this and run it. So if I'm lucky, I will get a list of our links. Oh, well, if I run the right file, I might, but I just ran the old script. This one is called scraping.js. Let's do that. So node space scraping.js, hit enter. So now let's go check out our console log and look at that. I got every single link as an array. Awesome. So basically we can use the selector, find all of those. And then we're saying we found an array of elements. And at that point, this is going to be that array of elements, which we're passing to this and we're running our map function. And for each element, we can just do regular stuff we would do in our browser, like href attribute of that. Very nice. Let's try to save all of this in an Excel file. So I'm going to X out of all of this. So we need to install something that we can use to export as Excel files. So let's go to this one. I've used this one in the past. It's okay. Not the best, I would say, but it works. So I'm going to copy this line and install this. Okay, so we should be able to use that now. Let's import that. So this XLS sax had this write file method and that accepts a workbook and a file name. Now, before we do that, we need to get the workbook. So that should return a book object for us. So let's save it in a variable. We're going to have to move all this code to our function below in a second, but for now, let's just do this. So that's the workbook. Now we're going to take this utils again and see this has AOA to sheet. So array of array to worksheets. So that is going to accept array of arrays, which we don't have, but we'll create one. Let's just say AOA for array of arrays. We'll figure out how we're going to get that and we're going to get it from this links, which is fine. So that's the worksheet. Now we need to add that worksheet to the workbook over here. So I did notice there was a method for that in there too. So utils dot C book append sheet. So we're appending a worksheet to a workbook. So it's going to accept the workbook and the worksheet. The workbook is going to be WB and the worksheet is going to be WS, which I've just created here on top. And then it seems like we can do an optional name for the worksheet, but I'm going to skip that. So now once we append that to the worksheet, we should be able to now create the file. So if we do XLSX dot create actually write file, and this accepts a workbook, which is this WB, and it also accepts a file name. So we'll just say links.xlsx. And you could open this with Excel or Google Sheets if you wanted to. So I'm going to take all of this code and I'm going to move that right inside of this function right here. Because this needs to happen after we get all these links. There is one problem here though. This AOA needs to be an array of arrays. And this links is a regular array. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say array of array links. It's going to be, we're going to take the array and we're going to map through it. And that was just a single list. So we should be able to take each link in that list. And for each link, we're going to return that same link in an array. 
So that should give us an array of arrays. So let me just not log this out anymore. And then this is array of array of links, if I did everything correctly. So if we pass it to this, that should write a file for us, which will be an Excel file with all of those links. Let's run this and see if that works. So I'm gonna go back here and we don't wanna install this time. We wanna do that scraping JS file. So I'm gonna run this and we're gonna see what happens. So Puppeteer opened, but that's not our main concern right now. I'm gonna quit this and see if we have an Excel file. We do, links XLSX. Let me go and open that file. It's in the same folder. Nice. So we got all of the links. So those were all the links on that page and now we have it in our spreadsheet.